Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Aries. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Okay, so the card that is representing your partner, the person of your interest, we have the Ten of Wands. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Taurus, as I believe this card came out for them. The obstacle, or currently the obstacle to overcome, is the Five of Cups. Wow. So for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Taurus. Um, these two cards are exactly the cards that I pulled out. Um, so if you are dealing with the Taurus, I would advise to watch that video as well. And finally, the card that represents you is the Sun card. Okay. Okay. All right, Aries. With the Ten of Wands, I feel that there is... There is a feeling of being overburdened or feeling like you are exhausted. This could be on the physical form or on a mental aspect. Could be having a lot of things that are going on in your present life. Um, and I feel that the partner, the person of your interest, may be starting to see that there is a lot of things that are taking up your time or energy in regards to not being able to actually spend quality time or not be um not be present even if you are there with your partner as an example it's almost like you will find yourself feeling like your mind drifts or your mind is somewhere else and with the five of cups there could be a fear in regards to feeling discontent a fear of for some of you guys this could be even a feeling of like you're debating or wondering if you should continue putting effort in this relationship or if you should walk away. Um, I feel that there is restriction of emotions here. If you look at this card, it's, um, it's a mermaid and she's on top of a stone and there's water flowing, but the stone could be a representation of a m emotional blockage. So I feel that for some of you guys, it could be that you're just not present um, or you're not having enough time uh, to give to your partner or to connect with him. Um, now, the card that represents how you view the situation or how you view your partner is the sun card. So I think that it has not much to do with not feeling emotionally connected with them. I just think that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a lot of things that are going on in your life at the present time. For some of you guys, it could be having a lot of like work or working very long hours. By the time you get home, you feel tired, you feel exhausted. Um, even if it's just lying there next to your partner, I feel that your partner feels like you're distance away. Um, or for some of you guys, it could actually physically be like distance is involved at the present time. And there is almost this feeling of paranoia uh, on your partner's side where they kind of feel like you're drifting or they're losing you. Um, and there is almost this feeling of like, how do I fix it? How do I make it better? Um, what can I do to make this relationship work? And I feel that the more they hold on to you or the more they try to be more proactive in the relationship, I feel that it's becoming overbearing for you. Not because you don't want them to want you, but I think that it has more to do with the fact of like time restrictive or having a lot of things that are going on where you don't really have the time, um, to communicate for some of you guys it could be that you're texting your partner and they take forever to answer back um or they text you and you take forever to answer back not because you don't want to um but it's more to do with because there's a lot of things going on in your life where you're extremely busy or on the go that when you do find 10 15 minutes you want to just be in your head you want to internalize because there is, like I said, a, 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 it's almost the feeling of like very quick energy 
um, in regards to, for some of you guys, I feel that it's like, it could be work related. Um, for others of you, it could just be that you have a lot on your plate at the present time. And it's almost like, yeah, you want to put effort in this relationship or in this connection, but you may also be wondering like, is it ideal right now? For some of you guys, it could be that you're trying to deliberate um, or make a decision. Should I continue and choose the relationship or should I, you know, give, should we give each other some space, some room to try to figure out what's going on in our lives before we can actually uh, decide to move forward in this relationship? Now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost if, like you guys have overcame a lot of obstacles. You guys have really been tested and trialed in this relationship. I think for some of you guys, it could be a feeling of like you guys are both starting to grow resentment towards each other because of things that have been done in the past where... Perhaps you guys were like, yeah, you know, I'm able to forgive you. I'm able to move on. Let's keep going. But never really taking the time to internalize, are you okay? To internalize, did you fully heal? Or did you just say that you would forgive, but you haven't forgotten? And it's something that now is coming to surface. And it's, it's almost like a, a resentment of some sort. Let's see what Spirit's final message is for you, Aries. What is Spirit's final message for you in regards to this situation, Spirits? What are the messages? Direct message, please. You have voice. Yeah, so, like I was saying, I feel that there is, like, this feeling of not being able to voice what you're really feeling for some of you guys it could be that you just don't know how to articulate what you're feeling and as time progresses or this could be your partner's energy as well keep in mind it is a general reading but i feel that there is restrictions here in regards to how we communicate in this relationship and i think that it's starting to come to surface and you don't want it to get to the point of holding certain things that perhaps your partner has done in the past and you never really fully forgave them you don't want that to be a detriment to where this relationship goes or how this relationship continues it's time to like i said internalize is this something that you are willing or wanting to forgive and to move on we cannot create a future or we cannot walk towards a future holding past resentments or past experiences. You can't, you know, as an example, if you've dealt with your partner stepping out of the relationship in the past, you can't move on from that if you're not able to forgive because that's constantly going to be an issue and something you're going to have to address at some point. So I think that what Spirit is saying is listen to your voice, Aries. What is it? that your intuition is speaking to you. We have the voice, but we also have here the purple, uh, the color purple, and this is a symbology of that of higher spirit. So what is it that your intuition is telling you? Are you trying to convince yourself that you want to continue in this relationship or working it out, but perhaps you feel like your voice is not being heard, or perhaps you feel like your partner is not acknowledging your hurt? or what you're going through or what you've been through with that person and they're not perhaps for some of you guys there hasn't been an apology for things that were done in the past and it's not something that we could sweep you know under the rug because like i said it will come to surface and i think that for a lot of you guys you may be experiencing this um so again be be true and be honest with yourself aries all right, my lovelies, I hope this gives you guys some type of insight, understanding, or wisdom. I wish you guys the very best. Stay safe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.